Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition. We're going to be talking Hells Angels uh, 81 in Cancun. So some Hells Angels news coming out um, the last week or so. You know, top level shot callers. Marty Robert, who's, you know, a big uh, featured player in our narrative here at the OG Pod, the most powerful maybe second most powerful, depending on where we put Nurgit. But uh, Nurgit and and Marty, the two most powerful Hells Angels on the planet right now. So first thing to report is that Australian Hells Angels boss, Angelo Padelli, was arrested in Dubai last week. He lives in Dubai, uh, moved there from Sydney, which was his home base uh, as the boss of the uh, Hells Angels in Australia. He controls that whole continent. Um, Has been with his family in Dubai for about six years. He was apprehended last week. We're not exactly sure what the charges were. But what we do know from the authorities' um, press release and talking to officials there after the arrest, They let the cat out of the bag uh, in reporting uh, Pedelli's, his apprehension. They told everyone that there was a big Hells Angels shot caller summit taking place right after Labor Day in Cancun, Mexico, uh, a summit that is being called or was called by Marty Robert. Um, I'm reporting here at OG Pod, as well as our our companion web magazine, Gangster Report, that there was a meeting that took place in late June in Dubai um, that included Angelo Padelli and Marty Robert. Again, these are two of the um, most powerful biker bosses um, on the globe. Um, We reported here this summer that... uh, Marty Robert uh, spent the uh, summer vacation, if you will, globetrotting on Hells Angels business to Europe, uh, South America, and Central America, and um, the Middle East. So the question now is if Pideli will make it to the Mexico Shot Caller Summit this week. We'll, we'll we'll fill you in the more we learn about it. But just the fact that the authorities put out the knowledge that there's – normally you don't find out about these summits until either, you know, after or well after they happen. But we got uh, wind of this Hells Angels Summit – with Hells Angel shot callers coming from around the world to Cancun, Mexico, to discuss business, um, Marty and Nurgit are, uh, you know, they're Canadian Hells Angels. Marty's in Montreal, Quebec, uh, Nurgit's in, in Ontario. We all know this, uh, and the the seat of power for for Hells Angels Nation goes through Canada now. So I'm not sure about Nurgit. Uh, if, if he will appear at this summit, but I'm told Marty is uh, chairing the summit. And uh, that we will have, or they will have, bosses from Hell's Angels chapters spanning multiple continents going to Cancun this week to discuss business. Um, Just another example of how these guys, these Hell's Angel shot callers, outlaw shot callers, Tommy O and his his ilk, these guys are at a whole other level of crime lord um, than, you know, mob bosses, drug kingpins. You know, even cartel guys uh, who control their country or their region of the country. Uh, Marty Robert and, and Nurgit, uh, you're, you're talking about 600 chapters, 60 countries, 6,000 full patch members. Um, it's just, it's it's mind blowing when you think about it. And, and it really makes some of these mafia bosses that we fawn over look minor compared to guys like uh Marty and Nurgit and Tommy O. So 
just an interesting tidbit. Uh, Australian Hells Angels boss Angelo Padelli is or was in custody in Dubai. Um, he's alleged to be the conduit between the 81 Hells Angels Nation and the Kinahan Irish mob drug cartel, which is a group that I want to get into more here on OG and maybe on members only on Patreon. Um, they are, you know, we haven't really given them any coverage and, and uh, Danny Kinahan, his dad, Christy Kinahan, um, they are, you know, arguably the biggest crime bosses in Europe, possibly around the, you know, around the world. And according to uh, authorities in Dubai and in Australia, uh, Padelli is involved with uh, Kinahan in a drug network that's a $2 billion drug network. So, uh, again, these guys are playing in a, in a, a league all of their own. So that's our uh, Hells Angels reporting for this week. Check back for all the latest breaking news when it comes to the underworld in North America. Like, share, subscribe. Check out the Patreon members only where we got um, more exclusive content, uh, kind of director's cut of, of interviews, more analytical, less newsy. So, you know, check it out. I'm Scott Bernstein, OG Pod.